I'm a big Sunday reset person. You guys have seen that on this vlog, but I've been wanting to do monthly resets as well. I've done a version of this in the past, but I kind of stopped doing it for a while and I want to start it up again. And because I'm going to have bookish components to it, I thought it'd be perfect to do on this channel. So welcome to my first ever official monthly reset. So first thing, I don't think I've told you guys, I have an Etsy shop where I have bookish printables and one of the things that I like to use is a monthly book tracker page. And so I got two new journals. I think I'm going to go with this Daisy one, but I have this as a backup. We'll decide which one we like better. And we're going to set up my August book journal. I'm also doing a summer readathon, which we'll talk about later in this vlog, but we're going to get the templates ready to go and all of that, which is why I wanted to do a vlog in the first place. But I love Olivia Reads a lot today, so I also watched her monthly resets to get an idea of what she does on hers. And I've made my little list, oops, that was kind of loud, of what we hope to accomplish. So we're also going to do a grocery restock. She did this, and I thought this was brilliant because I hate going to Costco, but I also love going to Costco. So I thought just go once a month and restock the things I need. I'm also going to go to Aldi because that's where I always get like my potatoes, onions, lemons, things like that. So we'll do both of those always go to the library. She goes to Barnes and Noble, but I'm a library girly and like that's my library cart. So if you like to borrow books, you have come to the right channel because we do that all the time. So we'll always do a library visit during the vlog. Also, this is a quarter three board that I need to set up. I'll explain that just a little bit later, but I do run my own small business and so I map out goals for every quarter and I still haven't set up that board. So we'll do that. And then she does a lot of cleaning. I don't clean in my house, my husband does. I do the cooking, he does the cleaning. And I actually make freezer meals when it's cold outside, like I'll do big batches of soup and stuff like that. So we'll definitely do that in future vlogs. We're gonna skip it in this one because I'm still kind of learning what I wanna do in a monthly reset. But also, I don't think I always plan to read a book during the reset, but I do have one going that I'm hoping to finish this weekend. Because, like I said, I have a summer readathon starting on Tuesday. For frame of reference, today is Saturday, July 29th, and my reading challenge is starting Tuesday, August 1st. So I've been reading French Holiday by Sarah Reddy. I have about five hours left, so I'm hoping to finish it. So you'll see me listening to the audiobook in this vlog. Anyways, that was such a long intro. We gotta go to Aldi right now to get some groceries, so come along. Okay, this is the part of the reset that I'm most excited for. So I wanna tell you about a couple things in my Etsy shop. But for background, back in 2021, I was working to pass an exam that I needed for my career. It was all consuming. It's all I worked for for about six months and I passed that exam in the middle of July and then I threw myself a hot book summer reading challenge in August. Really, it was just for myself to be able to relax, enjoy the rest of summer and then read all the books I didn't have time to read when I was studying for the exam. And it was so fun and exactly what I needed. So last year in 2022, I hosted it again. This time I had a reading account. In 2021, I didn't. It was like a on my own thing. In 2022, I had a reading account. So I started sharing it there and I made some templates, which you can still find in the Hot Book Summer Highlight Reel on my Instagram account. But this year I wanted to make it be even more. So that's what these downloads are. The first one is the Hot Book Summer Pack. So I have a couple different templates where you can plug in your books and then these gray spots are for the prompts. And don't worry, I have a ton of prompts for you. I actually have 24 different prompts that you can choose from and then I have 10 book recommendations per prompt. So all of this comes in that Hot Book Summer Pack. You do not have to buy the pack to participate. This is just if you're like me and you want like a journal that's cutesy and you color and you cut and glue and you want book recommendations, that is linked below. And then, I'm assuming if you're watching this channel, you are a reader, but in case you're not, I also made one just called Live Your Best Summer Life. And so this is a to-do list format or like a bucket list, I should call it. Again, cute stuff to color. And if you're like, I love the idea of a bucket list, but I don't know what to put in it, that download comes with everything you need as well. So first, of course, I have bucket list items. I think there's about 58 different things on here that you could plug into your bucket list. And then you guys know I love to cook, so I have eight of my favorite recipes that I make in the summertime all listed out so you can make them as well. 
Also, we tried a lot of drinks over here. So I have 12 cocktail recipes and 12 mocktail recipes, and I also made a movie list. So I have 80s and 90s movies, because that's what my husband loves. I have modern movies, so ones that were made in like 2005 and more recently that we both love, and then Hallmark for me. But the idea is that you can build your bucket list using everything you find in this download. And then if you like to read and you wanna do the bucket list, you'll wanna grab the Ultimate Summer Bundle, which has both of them, that is also linked below. But that's the long and short of pitching it to you guys. Again, you don't have to buy either one of these things. I would just absolutely love if you guys are reading summary books with me. So what we're gonna do now is set up my notebook. So I'm gonna get my two, my bucket list in there and I'm gonna pick all my activities and fill them out. I also will go to the library tomorrow to get books and we'll actually pick the books tomorrow, but we'll get this in there. And then one other thing, in my Etsy shop, you're gonna find like printables for yearly reading challenges and one of them are like monthly pages. So I'm gonna set up my August one as well. So we're gonna glue it all in. We're gonna color it, and when I was at Michael's yesterday, I found this really cute sticker pack with just like a ton of different options. I don't know if I'm doing a good job showing that to you guys. Uh, there we go, a ton of different options. So I can add these in. This was actually, it was on sale, so it was like $8, which isn't bad, but I think I can find a better price online. So we're gonna see if I even like doing the stickers because I've tried this before and I haven't been consistent with it, but we'll see if I like doing it and if so, I might bulk order stickers for us to do these monthly pages every month. But anyways, I've got a candle going. I still have a lot of my Duncan left and I was watching Morgan Long, another channel that I love that I'll link below. So let's put on another one of her vlogs and get my notebook set up. I absolutely love how this came out. So let me give you a little sneak peek. This is my summer reading challenge board. I haven't filled it out yet, but I colored in all of the images and then I put really cute stickers. And this was just kind of like the journaling experience I was looking for. I was doing my journal a different way earlier this year and it just wasn't working for me. And that's because this is what I needed. And then this is my bucket list. So again, I just grabbed stickers from Michaels. If I can find the pack I'm using, I'll link it below. If not, any stickers would do, but I just, what I really wanted was this like artistic journal, but your girl cannot draw. So that was my idea. I already put these images in so I can just color them and then I added some like shimmery and fun stickers to kind of brighten the page up. And I just feel like I'm going to absolutely love coming back to fill out this journal. Now, side note, I've told you guys about my job so many times, but I do own a small business where I make basically their templates, whoa, find your page, Nicole. Let me try and open to the front. I make printables just like this, but I make them for children with special needs. I was a special education teacher for six years, and I now work privately with children with special needs. But gosh, back in 2016, I started making stuff like this. And so it's a website called Teachers Bay Teachers. It's very similar to Etsy. It's just educational materials. And we're having a big back to school sale on Tuesday, August 1st and Wednesday, August 2nd. Today is Sunday, July 30th. I have a product that I want to get up tomorrow, so it's ready for the sale. That's the longest explanation to say my reward for getting that product up is getting to go to the library to pick up my books and then filling out my book page and making the to-do list or the bucket. I keep calling it a to-do list, it's a bucket list. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. I know I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog that we might go to Costco, but actually my job also really changes during the school year and we'll talk about that in the next monthly reset for September. 
but I want to challenge myself to use up a bunch of stuff I have in my freezer and my pantry so I can do a big restock when school goes back in session and my work schedule changes. So tomorrow, we're just going to do a Walmart pickup order to get the basics and maybe some fun stuff to help us celebrate throughout the two-week challenge. And then we'll go to the library and pick up books. We'll build out the reading challenge. We'll build out the bucket list. Maybe organize my office a little bit, but it'll be a pretty light reset. But at least you kind of get the idea of what my journal looks like and we can kick off the summer reading challenge together. Okay, this is supposed to be a whole monthly reset vlog and my desk is trash, so I figured let's do some B-roll of me cleaning it and maybe if I time today, we'll set up this board as well. I've been wanting to do that, but like I said, I run a small business and we're having a huge sale tomorrow, so my main focus is to get that product up and ready for the sale and my reward is getting to pick my tbr for the summer reading challenge so we'll definitely be doing that later but i figure in order to maximize this morning the best thing i can do is get my office set up and ready for a really productive day so yes i went and got duncan again i typically get it once a week and i got it two days in a row my stuff for breakfast is in the grocery order that we're picking up later and i was starving so we ran up there and of course i got a fun drink because a girl can't help herself it's okay. So I'm gonna do some B-roll. Let's get this office clean. Okay, I got both of my projects done. I'm feeling really good. This is the last thing we're gonna do. This is my quarterly board. I've just been doing them this year. Absolutely love them. So I plan out all the products I'm gonna make for my Teachers Pay Teachers store, my Etsy shop, YouTube videos I wanna make, all of that. And then this is like a progress board. So I was actually supposed to update this at the beginning of July, never had a chance, but hey, better late than never. So let's get it all set up. And because I've already been working on this project list for three weeks, we can immediately go in and color some of this stuff, which will be highly motivating. So that'll be the last like not bookish thing related to the setup for August. And then we'll do some fun stuff with books, I promise. So I grabbed a couple of fun groceries for Live Your Best Summer Life and I thought I would show you really fast. So first of all, this is something we get on a regular basis, but we love this Monterey Jack queso from On The Border. So I got some more queso and chips because I'm definitely gonna be making margaritas a couple times during this reading challenge and queso and margaritas just feels right. Also, we're gonna make cookies one day and I love Dunkaroos and I have some leftover frosting. So I got the cookie mix to go with it, so we'll do that. And then I just randomly saw this, this Caribbean sunset drink. Yeah, so it's high in sugar. So maybe not the best thing to have all the time, but for two weeks, it's okay. We're going to make some cocktails with this. Also, I needed some simple syrup and this is a new product. This is blueberry syrup. So I grabbed that. We'll try that and maybe a mocktail I'm thinking because I do have a blueberry themed mocktail we're going to make in the two weeks. And then... When I turned 21, my parents took us on a family cruise. My parents love cruising, and so that was actually kind of common for me to do when I was younger. 
By common, I mean I went on like four of them. But uh, when I turned 21, we went on a cruise and one of the first cocktails I ever had was a Miami Vice and I absolutely loved it. So it's equal parts strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. So I went to the ABC store. This one is non-alcoholic, so I'll add rum to it. This one already has alcohol in it. But Corey does not like pina coladas, so I'll make a bunch of frozen daiquiris so he can just have a daiquiri, and then I'll mix my daiquiri with pina colada at some point during the two weeks. But just thought I would share some of the fun groceries I picked up. Now let's go upstairs and pick out the books. Although I don't plan to read any of the books that I picked up at the library in this vlog, I thought I would go ahead and share them with you really fast. So the Museum of Ordinary People, I don't remember how I got on hold for it. What I think I did was I'm on this newsletter called Weebly. Yeah, this just came out this year. I'll try and put a link to it below, but it shows you new releases at your library. I'm pretty sure I saw this pop up and it looked interesting, so I got on hold for it, but it's not really summary, so we're not going to read it. Also, stay tuned, because later in August, we're finally going to do the Twisted series. It is on Kindle Unlimited, but I like to have the physical copies. I have books two and four. I'm in the first spot for books one and three, so hopefully those will come in in the next two weeks. And then third week of August, we're going to read this series, but we'll set it aside for now. And then the Beach Reads Bookshop, I had wanted this to be one of the books, but I'm weird. Like, it's the size of my hand. It's too small. It's too uncomfortable to hold. And I know that's a really weird reason to not read a book, but I, I really don't like books this size and I have a lot of other options so we're actually gonna put that in the return bin okay so I only have one book that I know for sure I'm gonna do in the challenge <laughs> I'm almost sure I have the prompt right wouldn't that be embarrassing if I didn't yep true love experiment by Christina Lauren this is my released in 2023 book Half because I loved The Soulmate Equation and I've been so excited for this book and half because it's due in three days. So it'll be the first book we read in the challenge. Well, that's only one of the eight books I'm trying to pick out for the TBR. So what I want to do is make sure I have at least two audiobooks and at least two Kindle books. Audiobooks because we're going to be going on a lot of walks and Kindle books are reading in the pool. And then I pulled some other library books I have checked out, some books I actually have on my bookshelf, and we're going to try and see if we can find ones that go with the prompts. So I'm going to do a little b-roll while I just like narrow down the list, and then I'll come back when I have a smaller selection to choose from. Okay, that was just going through the physical books I have. I think I picked book two. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I had to throw all of these books out because they just didn't really go with any prompt. And then I have all of these as possibilities. I probably will do at least one of these, but I'm thinking I might have some more luck. I'm gonna look on Hoopla now because I now have a ton saved. Look on Kindle Unlimited, look on Libby cross-reference my list and see if I can pick some more books that are super prompt specific. For example, one of these books takes place in Florida, which, you know, is somewhere I might go on vacation, but I probably wouldn't. So I want to see if I can find a book that takes place somewhere that I actually want to go on vacation. For example, I would love to go through the New England coast, something like that, or I'd love to go to Oregon somewhere that I could actually see myself booking a ticket, you know? Let's see if we can find the, some books that are more customized to Nicole.
It took me longer than I expected to build my TBR, but I'm glad I took that extra time because I'm really excited about the books. So I printed off little pictures, let me run through all eight books and what prompts they go with, and then I can get my notebook set up. So you guys already know about True Love Experiment. This is the library book that I had. This is my 2023 release. It's also just really highly anticipated, so I'm glad I can fit it into the challenge. The second book is The Boardwalk Bookshop. So this takes place on California coast. This is just happenstance. One of the prompts is somewhere you've been on vacation. My dad grew up in California and my brother lives there now. So California has kind of always been like where you, where I go on vacation because I'm visiting family. So that worked out because I love Susan Mallory and a bookshop, uh, hello, a bookshop related book for a reading challenge just makes sense. Also, I own this, so I can read it in the pool if it gets a little wet, no big deal. And I got it on audio, and I love having my books in multiple formats. Speaking of bookshops, girl could not help herself, so I told you guys this book was a little too small for me to hold. Well, luckily, I found it in audio format. So this one I'm doing for takes place on an island, but it's actually just an island off of Virginia that I've also been to for vacation. And I do like to show you guys when I can the books that I'm reading. So you might see me read from this a couple times, but I'm primarily going to listen to the audio for this one. Then our next book, this is me kind of stretching a prompt. One of the prompts is has a movie star, a musician, someone famous in it. Beach Town has a movie scout. So they scout out locations for movies. I love Mary Kay Andrews. I've done one of her books in every summer reading challenge that I've done. And so I had to find a way to make one of them fit. And so this felt like that would work for that prompt. So I put it in there. And again, the prompts are flexible. It's your reading challenge. Do what you want, you know? Uh, our next one is One Last Day of Summer. So I actually found this in Kindle Unlimited and I found the audio in Hoopla. I love books like this. It's like four different people's storylines all coming together and they're on a plane and they're all going on vacation. So I put it as a like takes place on vacation read, but each one has something really different going on. Like I'm pretty sure one it's business related, one she got stood up and still went on her honeymoon. And I'm assuming all the storylines are going to merge together. And I love books like that. So I picked that one. Hot Girl Summer is because I built my TBR and realized I didn't have a spicy romance and I could never. So this is a taboo spicy romance I found in Kindle Unlimited and that was good enough for me. They have like a hot and steamy summer romance that's supposed to end at the end of summer except one of them catches feelings for the other one. So it's supposed to be like friends with benefits and it becomes so much more. And like I said, I wanted a spicy romance so that worked out really well. Then we just have two more. We have the Seaside Library. And so I picked this one because it has a beach on the cover. It, this one also seems a little bit suspenseful. So something happened like 20 years ago when they were teens and one of their friends, basically I something bad happens and one of their friends gets accused of it and the girls don't know, if, like weren't there to actually say he didn't do it, but they know he didn't do it. So they cover for him, but now it's coming back around karma and I wanted a suspenseful option so I grabbed this audio book and then the last one is how to honeymoon alone this I also found in Kento unlimited and I found the hoopla audiobook this one she again it's like a wedding that falls apart she still goes on the honeymoon she's sunshine he's grumpy they meet up I found this in Kento unlimited and hoopla audio I might have just said that but it was just another fun option takes place at a resort so I'm really excited. Some of the books I had, like they took place in Maine, which is somewhere I would love to go on vacation, but the cover and the storyline didn't really scream summer. So I'm glad that I took extra time because every single one of these books, I was trying to talk really fast to beat out my battery before it died, didn't happen. So I don't know where I cut off. But what I was saying was some of the books that I chose, like it took place in Maine, which is somewhere I would love to go on vacation, but nothing about the cover or the plot actually referenced summer or anything summery to me so I'm glad I took some extra time because all eight of these books either something about the cover the colors the title of the book where like what's going on in the book screams summer to me so I really feel like it's going to be a very immersive two weeks so what I'm going to do now is glue all of these into the notebook and then I need to pick out my activities and the fun drinks I'm going to make and put it in the bucket list and I'll bring you guys back when the notebook is ready to go.
am absolutely obsessed with how my notebook came out. So I've tried to do a reading notebook a couple times and I just couldn't get into them and I think I finally created one that I'm gonna love. So let me show you. So first page you guys saw, this is my TBR. Oh, the stickers are so fun. I colored in all these pieces and it just, it looks so pretty. And like I said, I'm not very artistic so I can't draw stuff. So the fact I had stuff to color in to still make it so pretty, I love. So this is in that summer reading pack and I just went through the TBR. Then over here I have the bucket list with so many more stickers and fun stuff. So for the activities, we're going to go to a baseball game. We're going to go see the Barbie movie. And my husband is incredible for doing that with me. We're going to go wine tasting. We'll have movie night on the projector. We're going to go on a summer hike. I'm going to spend all day in the pool. I'm going to read by a pond that's in our neighborhood with Buster. We're going to grill dinner one night. We're going to do a puzzle. We're going to go to a food truck, go to the farmer's market. I'm going to find somewhere completely new to read. I'm going to do a bright manicure, and we're going to do a beer tasting. And then for our drinks, we're going to make the Miami Vice I already told you guys about. I'm going to get tropical smoothie one day. I'm going to try a new margarita flavor. I'm going to make a blackberry basil mocktail. We do mocktails every Monday, so I've got a couple special ones picked out. Uh, I'm going to try a new wine and a new cider. I have a blue lagoon mocktail that I'm going to use that blueberry syrup that we got earlier for. I'm going to go get a fun coffee or chai tea one day. I also love the Starbucks refresher tea, so I'll get one of those. I'm going to make sangria and a mojito. I'm going to use my coconut tequila to make a drink. I'm going to make a blue chair bake cocktail for us and then a wine cooler mocktail. And then on this page, I just made it our movie page. So just to kind of explain what I'm envisioning, I have all our movies up here. I'm going to watch something summary every day, probably a lot of Hallmark movies. So that's what these are for. 12 slots, I can just jot down the cutesy little thing that I watched. And then these two big spots are for our weekend movies. We watch a movie every Saturday night. So for week one, I'll write the movie in here. Week two, I'll write the movie in here. And I just, I love how it came out. And then I'm going to keep these two pages free because I actually have this little like Polaroid camera. And so I'm going to try and get some pictures when we do stuff like go to the baseball game so I can make almost like a scrapbook page. And I feel like this is what I needed all along for my reading journal. It's just to have like really fun interactive pages that I can color. So like I said, if you want any of these downloads, they are below. But I am absolutely obsessed. I'm so excited for the reading challenge. If you're watching this in the middle of August the 14th, feel free to join in. And if you're seeing this later, don't worry. I think we're going to do this every season. Don't hold me to it, but I already do a fall one, so why not go ahead and do a spring one too? And a Christmas one. Let's just, let's do all the challenges together. I'm so excited. <laughs>